This is the Sharp LCMate EL401A. It was made around 1980 to 1981, at least according to the very little information I could find online. And this one, as you can see, is still in its original box and it still has all its original paperwork, including a manual here, which has all sorts of information about changing the battery and settings and all that, and the original warranty card, which I am sure has long since expired. There is a faint imprint from a penciled-in price marking on the box, the price being $29.95, so at some point this was sold for that price. Not only is this device a calculator, it is also a stopwatch and alarm clock, complete with a little handy cutout in the cover so that you can tell the time at a glance, well at least once you've pulled it out of your shirt pocket. Now that doesn't sound that impressive today with devices of a similar form factor boasting many more features. Uh, if I had a mobile I'd put it next to it. You'll just have to make do with uh, this uh, shop window display phone, and as you can see, they're similar size and this thing, if it were real, would boast many more features. But just a few years prior to this thing being available, you would be looking at a calculator here. You would want a stopwatch for your stopwatch feature, and then you want your digital alarm clock, uh, minus the radio, and that takes up quite a bit more space. So in comparison, this pocketable little device would have been looking very advanced. Now, you have the clock feature, which you leave it on for most of the time, and then you, if you slide this switch down here, you're now in the calculator mode, you can clear and then you can just make all sorts of calculations. You also have some memory buttons here, and you've got the normal four function calculator. And if we slide it down here, we now have stopwatch and set. So you can, have a, you can run a stopwatch thing if you want to time something, and you can also set an alarm. So let's say you want to wake up at 7.30 in the morning, type in 7.30 and press alarm. Maybe you've got your favourite program at 8.30 and you want it to be alerted five minutes earlier. Set it to 8.25. Now you want PM for your TV program. Well, you press that and now it is 8.25 PM. You press alarm. You can also think set it into 24-hour mode. I don't like 24-hour clocks, but I know Europeans do. So now yeah, you've got a very handy little function there, and you can turn the alarm on and off by pressing this horn button. And if you've, no you've probably noticed the button sound. Some people hate that. I like it because these buttons are very soft touch buttons. It actually says in the manual, do not use your fingernail to press it because they're very soft rubber, and you only lightly touch them. And if you hate it, you just press this button, and it silences it, the little note button. Anyway, you can set it back to a clock. And there you go. You're all ready, except the alarm's turned off, so... <laughs> yeah. But it's a really cool little device, and it can be slid out of its case, like this. And there are just two screws to remove the battery and replace it. The battery itself is one of these little 3 volt things. Still easily available today. So it is a very cool little device, really. And, you get it with, and without the case, it is even smaller, which just makes it that much more impressive that within a few years you had gone from these three bulky devices, well, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but three quite bulky devices to this tiny little thing, tiny little device. Of course, now we have these things, and even this is looking a little outdated. So I hope you found that interesting. It's a lovely little device. I love using this to make sure I don't miss TV programs or things on eBay or all that. Really handy little thing. The only thing is you can only set one alarm at a time, so that's the only downside. Oh, and it has a date. You may have noticed it has a date. I forgot to mention that. It has a little date thing here. That does not follow a calendar or anything. It just counts to 31. Not very convenient either, you have to, every month that isn't 31 days, you have to reset that. But apart from that, a very handy little device, and thanks for watching. This is a sharp e yeah.